I realize I didn't finish the jointer yet, but in the meantime, since the lathe is the next project, even though it's under everything, I accumulated some additional stuff. I first got a, well, for one thing, I didn't have any needle oilers, so I got a two pack of these needle oilers, and those will help me oil in the very small spots. I had not yet had any center drills, so I got a set of center drills that should not only work for the drill press, but should also work well with the lathe. I got an Anytime Tools telescoping bore gauge set uh, from, you know, small up to decent size. Because this, this, this lathe only goes up to six inches, so that's, you know, I don't need huge yet. I got a set of the Anytime Tools micrometers, specifically the zero to six inch set for the outside micrometers. So that's pretty cool. That should that should cover all the measuring. I, I realize these are not digital ones that I've seen recently on some other channels, but this is my first starter set. We'll start with a starter, somewhat cheap set, and see how it goes. If I end up getting really into this, I can always spend more money and get the fancier ones later. That's the same with all this stuff. Then I got from Little Machine Shop, they actually have a set that is a starter set for this lathe. So that comes with a set of indexable turning tools with the triangle inserts. That has a set of 3 8 inch boring bars. So that's kind of cool. It comes with a quick change tool post that has a bunch of different holders, which those can go in and other various tools and such can go in. So that's all those. It comes with a cutoff blade, which will fit in some of these. So that's kind of cool. This comes with a 132nd to half inch Jacobs 33 drill chuck. Hopefully that's clear. So yeah, that should be cool. That'll get me started for basics. And this, along with what already came with there, should let me play around and see how well the lathe works. And I'm sure will get me started for a number of basic projects because having the quick change tool post should make it a lot easier to do the cutting and be able to switch back and forth. I noticed that from all the other people I watch online, they really like these, like Curtis from Cutting Edge Engineering and just Steve Summers. All the different people have uh, you know, the, the quick change tool post because that makes the most sense. And then you can have your commonly used stuff in there, if you're working on three or four tools, you can swap back and forth. All those other sites are much better indicators of how to do this than me. It should be interesting. Some of this stuff I've had for a while, so I figured I might as well open it. As you can see, it's not unpacked. It literally just took the plastic wrap off some of most of this stuff right before this. But I figured I should at least look in here and see to make sure nothing is overtly screwed up. And I think everything was packed pretty good. So the box is just a box jointed box, but it has handles and it locks and has padding. So that should be fine for those. If I get enthused and want to make a fancier one, that is something I can definitely do. And I could probably even reuse all the hardware and just, if I decide it's needed, make a fancier box. But for now that should be fine. This has a nice plastic case. That should be fine. That comes in a case. That comes in a little stand and all these things. And when I get to making the drawers in here, which is what all that wood is for, and the, down you can sort of see in that corner, that's where the drawer slides are for making the drawers for under the lathe. I'll be able to design the drawers such that this stuff can fit down in there. So this will all have a place to go. But quick, oh look, stuff video. Yeah, this was, I think I showed this earlier, but that's the quick change tool post that came with this little machine shop kit that was i got this from amazon i got most of this stuff off of amazon little machine shop has some really good kits for tricking out this atlas or craftsman 618 lathe and i don't have i'm not at the point yet where i'm ready to try this stuff but 
I at least got it so when I get to that point, I can just keep going versus, oh, I should have bought this or this or these or those or, oh, I don't have a center drill. Then I can't do stuff. Well, I now have center drills. that, And I've run into that problem with just using the drill press as well. Some of the operations for drilling in metal especially would have been really good to have a center drill. So that's going to be very helpful regardless of the lathe work. But, yeah, fun stuff.